Okay, I've finally managed to get my Rober safety deposit box lock picked on camera. Uh, can't lie, I've, I've had a few attempts at this over the, the past few weeks and it, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a hard lock for me, so uh, it, it's never cooperated with me. Um, so there's a few of these picked on YouTube. Um, what it is, it's a Swedish uh, security company that makes safety, that, that they make the, the boxes and everything and they, they manufacture their own locks uh, to go in it. Um, as the key, it's a lovely cool key with a little uh, keyway emblem on there, so Robo Sweden. Uh, there's the bit in. Uh, so it's a, a dual bitted key, it's got a, a five pin pin tumbler and then it's got a sidebar operated by well, the Asa barrels, I think they are, they, they haven't bothered making their own uh, barrel pins for it. Um, so it's just a quarter turn, which operates the tailpiece at the back. Fortunately, the two elements of the lock isolate, you pick the, the top pins first, you get a very slight turn on the core, which then tensions the sidebar and allows you to pick the uh, the sidebar pins uh, as I say th this is a, a hard lock for me even though I bought this and had no idea what I was letting myself in for um, in this one there are all standard drivers even though the uh, the uh, core is milled and serrated every single driver is standard um, obviously makes it an awful lot easier I did go and buy another one because I felt a little bit cheated uh, I've got one, another one with uh, gin pins and barrels in it. I've managed to pick the top section of that, but the bit in on the sidebar, um, I think that, that's as far as I've got with that. I've got a lot more work and practice to do with that one. So I had no idea that this wasn't standard. It was pointed out that it was a bit crazy that it all came with standard pins, but that's how it came. So I knew no different. Um, Anyway, this is my pick and gut of it. Uh, I will warn you, it, it's quite long. Um, as I say, can't stress that this is a hard lock for me. Anyway, if you make it through to the end, thanks for watching. Okay, Robur safety deposit box lock. Uh, I'm not going to do an awful lot of talking uh, through this. Uh, I have to concentrate so much on this lock. There we go. To show that it's working with the key and not working. Um, I'm just going to drop this tension wrench in the bottom of the keyway just to protect the bottom of the keyway. Um, it was a, a reasonably expensive lock and it's starting to get a little bit chewed up because uh, it takes me so long to pick this. Uh, I've got a, a variety of picks. Uh, anyway, uh, Let's see how we get on with it. Okay, that might be the top pin set. Let's just uh, check to see if we've got any of the side pins binding. Yep, we have, and uh, just set one of those.
Okay, I think I've overset one of the uh, the sidebar pins. They do make a very distinctive noise when they drop. Uh, the trick is to drop the sidebar pins without dropping the top pins. Okay, let's give that another go. Okay, felt a nice little movement there. Just give those top pins a quick check. I think I've dropped everything now. Okay.
Okay, I think I have to let more drop. Okay.
lost. Ah, wow. I hope my camera uh, phone has got enough battery left in it. And let's go ahead and got this now. Okay, I can relax a little bit now. I'm going to use my uh, lovely wooden pinning tray that I got from Hoiser. Uh, where are you, Hoiser? We miss you. Um, and what do we need? We need to lock that back up. Okay. Little tail piece is secured by two screws. And the tail piece comes off. What do with that? So a little turn. Tolerances on this lock are excellent. And really do need to use a brand new shim as soon as you, uh, you start trying to get anything uh, bent in there. You're on hiding to nothing. Okay, as you can see, that really was a struggle to get that in there. And I found using this hollow um, follower is better because the tip of the key just protrudes out enough, and that's enough to uh, just to get the the key pins forced up into the uh, the Bible. Okay, and it's a real firm push required. Okay. Just put that there for a second. Okay, first thing off, make sure you uh, you keep your thumb on that sidebar, and then slowly release. Whilst keeping all the key pins in with my finger, the sidebar can come out. Then I'll give you a look at that later. Just want to make sure I get those sidebar pins out. Okay, and whilst the uh, the key is still in, because that keeps the finger pins in the side, I'm going to drop the uh, the zoom out a little bit. Drop the key pins out. That's five. Then put your thumb over the top and slowly withdraw the key. Uh, and just release the pressure and those finger pins are there. I'm going to put those. Now they're all the same. Doesn't really make any difference. But we'll put those over here. And just drop the springs out. Okay, quick look around the core. So you can see that milling or threading or whatever you wish to call it in all of those. Now, this one has got all standard drivers. So what that what happens with that is it makes them feel like serrated pins just as they click uh, past those uh, so, uh, past those well, serrations I suppose uh, and that 
other than quality, a couple of bits of uh, anti-drill protection, there's not a lot else to see in there. Let's take that shim out. flea circus no nig bvi video would be complete without a flea circus and uh, i'll just drop those springs okay let's give you a look so the finger pins or barrel pins sidebar pins are hollow that spring fits up inside them. Uh, give you a look at that sidebar. The black mark on the sidebar, when I first got the lock I wasn't sure if the sidebar was handed so uh, I put a little mark on the upper front uh, and that's the way it's always got, gone back in. As it uh, happens um, I don't think it makes a deal of difference which way it goes in. Uh, so now I'll check that later. Uh, but you can see the parts that it's actually, yeah, no, it must, it must make a difference because the, the bitting of the pins is dictated by the sidebar. So, yeah, it, it totally ignore me because all, all the barrel pins are exactly the same. Uh, you got these sidebar pins, they're not actually bad. I have dropped one of these into the carpet and successfully found it again. Um, and then you've got, they're almost wafers in uh, in some of them. Uh, have a look at that one there. Really is a, a tiny driver, as is the one in number four. I'm not going to be able to get it to stand up now. But, uh, you can see how thin they are, um, partly because there's really, oh, wait, there's a spring left in there, partly because there's not much height in that Bible at all. But there you go, there's uh, my... Robo safety deposit box lock picked and gutted. Uh, sorry, it's a long video. Uh, I can't say that I've ever picked it an awful lot faster than that, maybe a little bit better, but uh, probably more of a fluke. Anyway, hope you find that interesting. Thanks for watching.